Before we go into this, I must firstly make you aware that I purchased this product using my own money, so this review is based off my personal thoughts. You may disagree with some of the points I make today and the opinion shared in this video, but if that's the case, please be sure to comment your thoughts down below, please. I'll be explaining both the pros and the cons and then finally conclude with my final thoughts. Also, I've been using this for about three weeks or so, therefore I've had enough time to get used to the feeling and give you guys a full review. So where do we begin? Let's start with the price and availability. You can find this product from online retailers such as Amazon, Argos, Direct from Thrustmaster and many more for the price ranging from around £190 to £210 at the time of this review. Availability may depend on the region you're in but for me in the UK obtaining this was not an issue from Amazon UK but of course your mileage may vary especially if you're watching this from the future The load cell pedal brake is the main talking point with these pedals as they measure the pressure you apply as opposed to the distance of the pe pedal pushed like the base T300 RS GT pedals. Check out my review right here. And after spending a fair amount of time with both, I can already say that I much prefer the more premium TLCM pedals. The braking already feels considerably more accurate and I prefer the look and feel of the TLCM pedals over the stock pedals that came with my T300 RS GT. These are the cheapest load cell pedals that can be purchased on the market. Continuing this point, only the brake pedal has the load cell feature, as the throttle and clutch are just standard potentiometer pedals. Just a quick note. To use these pedals, you'll need to plug the pedals straight into the compatible Thrustmaster wheelbase, or if you want to use this with another brand, for example, Fanatec or Moza, or Moza, however you say that, then you can plug this directly into the PC via the relevant port. So, let's go into the pros to begin with here. Firstly, the look and feel. These feel very strong and robust, honeycomb designed to help stabilize your inputs. Each pedal, including the brake, gets the adjustability with its pedal face, having the option to move slightly left and right. As for the throttle pedal, this gets the option to add height, interestingly enough. Seems strange to me that they didn't add this feature onto each pedal face for the other two, but perhaps this will be revised in a future from Thrustmaster. These springs can be changed to be stiffer or softer, depending on your preference. I found the default setup arrangement to be most comfortable to me, but if you're looking for it to be a bit stiffer or softer, you'll play around with these springs until you find the right combination for you. Changing these out is pretty simple. You firstly pull up the brake pedal, then you pull the bracket towards you, and then you can change the springs out to meet your preference. Looking at the TLCM pedals, they are visually aesthetic, the metal contents used over the majority of this base really helps this feel more robust than the other pedal sets I've used. But I need to point out, there is hard plastic used as well for the underneath and sides of the pedal base. Mounting the pedals is suggested to be the best route so the pedals don't move beneath your feet after each time you push down on the pedals. You can do this by using M6 screws on each corner of the base plus one in the center However, my GT Omega doesn't allow me to mount the middle point. Since mounting it, I found this to be much more consistent with my braking pressures. In addition, included in the contents of the box is a mounting template in case you have a DIY rig. Nice, nice touch here, Thrustmaster. It's hard to think of negatives to this budget-friendly pedal set but I've noticed that the pedals do wiggle from side to side when shifting them. However, this isn't noticeable when you're racing. This does take away from the premium feeling, but it is not a game breaker. In my experience, I haven't had any issues with this and it can barely be noticed, but after more intensive use and wear and tear, I can see this becoming much more obvious. 
this next point is me being a bit more nitpicky, but the Thrustmaster software can be a little difficult to locate for the first few times. It's not the most straightforward software to use, but it does the job it sets out to do. Also, just a side note that regarding the software, this was not always working for me, but the way to bypass this issue is to plug it directly into the PC via the USB port, as we mentioned earlier, and that should work absolutely fine. As I mentioned earlier, the brake pedal being the only low-top pedal in this pedal set does leave room for improvement, although the brake pedal is the only one that necessarily needs to have the low tail technology, it's still something to consider. The TLCM pedals do stand out as the cheapest low tail pedals that can be found on the market. The adjustability that you have with the springs to soften or stiffen them for your braking input can add much more value to this. However, it is important to consider what you're after in terms of your driving style and preference with pedals as you mainly want the brake to be low cell. And if this is the case, then these pedals are going to be your first choice if you already have a Thrustmaster wheelbase or plug it in via PC using the cable. I can confidently say that I can 100% recommend this pedal set if you're looking to get into low cell technology at a budget. And if you're on PC, then you can use this on any wheelbase from other manufacturers. This is my favorite pedal set that I have used, and I've used a number of different pedals at this point from different brands, including Fanatec and Logitech. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe as this would be really appreciated. Comment your thoughts down below and let me know what else you'd like me to review. Thank you very much for watching.